Okay, I think this is pretty groundbreaking, but we all know about the piezoelectric effect, right? You take a crystal and you squeeze it, and the needle will jump, but it'll jump back down. That's that's pretty much the piezoelectric effect. Like, I squeeze this cell, and it jumps down. That's piezoelectric. It can't maintain that current, so if you squeeze it, it goes up, it goes down. And the piezoelectric effect, there's nothing great about it because you, you can't get a stable current out of it. Well, this crystal cell has taken that to a whole new level. I got me a heavy lead acid battery. This is lead acid battery, gray. It's dead, it's useless. Um, I'm only going to use it as a weight. Watch when I apply constant pressure to the cell. Let's see, I need more. There we go. You can see it's going up. Let's see. This is not working. Um, I need to zoom in. So y'all can see. There we go. Y'all can see that better. Now let's put this heavy battery on it. And let's, let's apply constant pressure to it. You're noticing something. It went up. And it's staying up. And it's actually still going up. What this means, this cell is affected by pressure, and that's very important. This is groundbreaking, really. Um, it keeps on going up. This is really amazing. This cell is affected by pressure. The more pressure you have to the cell, the more power it's going to output. This is really amazing. I don't know if you can call this a piezoelectric, because the piezoelectric would have gone up, then it would have come back down. But this thing is staying up. I find that really awesome. And as soon as I take the battery off, it's dead. Or sort of kind of dead. But there's still power in it. Like two, maybe two microamps. But there's a setup. Very simple. No hidden wires. I just, that's amazing. I don't know if you can call that piezoelectric because the piezoelectric would have gone up, then it would come right back down. So this means this cell is affected by pressure. And this cell right here is just a um, copper tube, uh, Epsom salt, substitute, salt substitute. There's no Elmer glue in this cell. Uh, the separator was a notebook paper. Uh, combine the two salts with water, rub it in, let it dry for a week. Then covered with masking tape, not masking tape, electrical tape, I mean, and uh, spray painted it. And yeah, there you have it. That's very, that's, that's pretty cool. That's very cool.